Well, 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 we got two levels left, so we might as well start now, because this one's going to be a long one. Yeah, this is probably the hardest level in the game. I may have said that about Kaga Destiny, but this you is... You definitely did. <laughs> this, that's, that's the most, like, generically hard. This one is really easy if you have one specific thing, and we don't have that one specific thing. <laughs> Link, tell us what that one specific thing is. You need Kanas, max <laughs> level, with Luna. <laughs> Not necessarily max level, but Very high, high level. Double digit level. Arr, I wish we'd be getting Fargus. But no. He's just a really, really good green unit. Yeah. He's another Berserker. Berserker! Nils is not talking much. He's, he's still in shock from his sister's death. It's a bit understandable. Doesn't stop him from playing cool songs on his little flute. That's true. Ding, ding, da -da -ding, ding, ding, ding. I, I don't think Nils plays that one, but yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you have dart, then you get this little extra thing. extra dialogue. Yep. Alright, fine. Get going. Okay. Dart. dart. Don't, don't come back me. dead. Do you get an extra scene if he does come back dead where he's like, No! <laughs> I, I haven't tried. <laughs> and I don't want to find out. That's true. Well, we'll see. I don't know, dart's giving me a few close calls, so... We'll see. We haven't really done a good job, like, maxing out anybody on this playthrough. And again, because we're splitting the units, that's kind of to be expected. I think it's also because, like, a lot of my guys have died who were pretty good level. Jafar's gonna get maxed. Hector. I think maybe. Jafar already is. He might be. It's been a while. Hey, <laughs> Nurgle's sprite change. This shows him it's just a druid. What was he before? A dark druid. He seems like a cool enough guy, he could probably just, like, change. Would, would you say Rimstella has perfect beauty? Um, no. <laughs> Her weird gold eyes definitely are a giveaway. She also has the weird, like, head necklace. Yeah, they all do. Elwood's ambiguous. Elwood's it might like, just be a furrowed brow. Yeah, Elwood has, like, kind of made a comeback from Lydia's death. It's like, well, it's been a level. We went on a shopping spree. I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Shopping is therapeutic for Elwood. Yeah, exactly. All right, Nils. Now you sound like a man. Apparently, Nils went underwent puberty in between these levels. Yeah, uh, apparently. It's more of like a spiritual puberty. Oh, uh, okay. So now Nils is like, "Hey guys, we're gonna go fight Nurgle." Uh, who? I'm still. I'm still. I'm still is, I just realized. Who's always at Nurgle's side? It's like, yeah, we didn't. I just realized Nunstella is always staring directly at you, the player. I feel like most of the characters kind of are, though. <laughs> uh, maybe? Not Hector. Min kind of is. He definitely okay, is. Okay, Nils a little bit, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I guess it's the golden eyes that just make it a little creepy. Alright. We bought a lot of good stuff, so... <laughs> Golden. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, do, 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 oh, do, do, do. Lynn can't even use a silver sword. Yes, yeah, she can. Oh. oh, it looked great up to me from where I'm sitting. All right. Uh, oh, that's right. I don't think they sold any divine. Yeah. Oh. Or physic. You could only bend. Oh no, they did have divine. Cool. Let's I really see. wish we got. Uh... You can get rid of the tomahawk. No, no, no. It's pronounced tomahawk. Uh, oh, what? Vaughn can't use a silver sword? He's more of a lance guy. Uh, I guess that's lance true. Lance the turtle. Hello, lance. Lance the turtle. Wow. <laughs> Is that ve like a really obscure veggie tale? That's like, yeah, like a way, way past. <laughs> oh, yeah, you brought Raph on the last level. That's kind of funny. Veda. Veda can use a silver sword, and Bowen yeah, Veda can't. Veda is just good. Alright. Uh, what else could I give her? A lance reader? Yes, please. I just realized this would probably be, like, the stuff we should edit out of videos. Like, us preparing for it. No, like, unless there's, like, no. hilarious commentary back and forth. It's just like, okay, yeah, we get it. They're giving their guys good weapons. <laughs> like, this I, is I, the I stuff that you would cut out of, like, a Harvest Moon Let's Play. Or like, Maybe. I don't know. Oh, can I have the Tormahawk? 
Oh, thank you. Unless, or, or maybe Hector. All right. No, no, no. Uh, it's your tomahawk, so yeah, Hector can have it. I'll just give him a hand axe. Oswin, oh Oswin, you you deserve better. Nothing but silver for Oswin. Nothing but the best. Oswin is like pretty low level. Also, I just realized he's yeah. got pretty good hair for an old guy. How old is Oswin supposed to be? You know, like fifty. I, I guess Wallace. I see that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's actually probably it's like yeah, I'm thirty eight or something. <laughs> He's, he's seen some battles, so that's, I think, taken a little toll. Look at all that of those upgrading items that we never used. I guess I'm gonna give one of my hand axe and take a killer axe. Oh, I just... Do we want... Yeah. Oh, that's right, Merlinus is gonna be able to follow us on this level, so... <laughs> do you want Pent to have the Iron Rune? What does that do again? It nullifies criticals, so enemies can't crit him. Um, I don't know, I mean, sure. <laughs> That's fine. Nothing but the best for Rebecca. Whatever bows you need. She has a longbow. Or I guess you could give her an elixir. Oh, we should have bought more elixirs. Whoops. I guess I'll get rid of the short bow. It's not very good at this point. Just give her a killer. Oh, you didn't buy a killer bow. Oh, no. She's fine. All stars, Raph and Heath here. Oh, you know Hawkeye needs himself a killer, a silver axe. You know what? This one's basically gone. <laughs> You're gonna keep the door key, which has no purpose on this level, mm -hmm. or the next I level. I can always toss it afterwards. All right. Uh, Jafar, yeah. can give him some stuff. Just a few. Maybe I'll, like, speed up these. But then our audio won't match up, right? No, I speed up the audio, too. So, <laughs> so it'll sound, right, right, like, yeah, we'll sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks, basically. Nope, that sounds terrible. Um, so we each get eight. That is right, true. So I'm taking Hector, Pent. You're gonna take all your best guys, obviously. Five, six, I have two more I can take. <laughs> you could take Priscilla. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if she dies, she dies. I guess I'll take her wrath. Wait. Okay. I'll have to get rid of one of your guys. Yeah, I'm not taking the galt. Uh, I kind of think it's going to be like a... One, two, be. three, four, five, six, seven. You should be happy, because right before we recorded, I almost went... Wait. And got, like, a giant bowl of, like, chips or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on. So I have one, two, uh, three... Four. Yeah. Five, six, seven. You have, are taking an extra guy. Uh, get rid of Wrath. Alright. Uh, I could take Isadora, I guess. But she's also fast, and this level's huge, so I'm taking her over a League Alt. Cool, we can start. Oh, never mind, Merlinus was a wagon Marlinus. from the last level, apparently. Lord Elwood, here! This is an Earth Seal! Completely worthless at this point in the game! I'm grateful. This should help us out. Not. Murka, if you're worried about me, I'm fine. I know all about freedom. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's lamentable, but we're gonna have to turn battle animations off for yeah, this level. Otherwise this level Cause, uh, no, yeah, look how, look how massive this level is. It's big, but there's really not that many enemies. No, there are tons of reinforcements, though. Yeah. Yeah, so when Stella's the prime factor in this level, she has Fimbulvedr, great name, and uh, look at her stats. Yeah, she's really good. Very much so. All like, right. uh, like, Hector can probably damage her, but most other people probably will barely be able to damage her. And Hector is going to get slaughtered if he uh, tries. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well, she leveled up. She leveled up. Lynn has not been doing great. You've barely been using Lynn. I've been taking Lynn on like You've been every taking level. her on all the levels, but you haven't actually been using Lynn. That was divine. That was shy, actually. <laughs> well, that was, that, a, really that was a nice level up, Sarah. Are you sad that this Let's Play is getting close to drawing to a close? Nah, not really. I mean, like, about time. It's been like a year and a half. Yeah. 
that this was one of our first Let's Plays we started, I think. This was our, my first co-op Let's Play I started. Oh, it's the only co-op one. Or I guess Lego Star Wars. Star Wars. Seems like a waste, but alright. Yeah. I'll let you take that one out. Who gets Nils? You have Nils. Oh. Because Nils and Minion are the exact same unit. Oh, gotcha. Damn. Check that morph. Does this what you make you? Uh, does this make you want to jump right into Sacred Stones? No, not you really. Don't, you don't really like Sacred Stones. Anymore. Sacred Stones is good. Nowhere near as good as this game. Your turn. Still fun, and it also. I think that's the Fire Emblem game that introduced like level grinding. Yeah, at least in the American ones. The, pr the problem, though, is eventually you just flat out run out of money. Oh, you yeah, like Heath. Oh, I took Heath? Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't so mean to do that. <laughs> I'll just keep him back with my lettuce. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, he might be more durable than Regalt, though. Do we have any of the other rings? Mm. Four's Ire, Phyllis Might. Heath so. can just wait there. Sure. I'm trying to get him out of the range of the bishop with shine. Or what are they like, all Purge? He, he's as far up as you possibly can get, so. Like I said, no I'm danger keeping, there. Keeping him out of the range. Oh, are we gonna get Lee Galt or, uh, or Reynolds? Oh, well. Oh, oh, there goes Nils. Nils is dead. Nils! <laughs> I knew somebody was gonna die on this level. I just didn't know it'd be so soon. I predict at least one more character dies. I will not be sad if Isadora or Heath or... What?! Priscilla <laughs> dodged?! How is that even possible? Priscilla's like a level 3 Troubadour. Troubadours have terrible dodge. Do, 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 do. Look at that power! Hector's getting a lot of experience, too. Oh yeah. Because he's still pretty low level. Oh, I feel like if it's like, whoa, that guy's in double digits upgraded level? That's amazing! Like, the only person who's, like, a good level right now is Jafar. Yeah, who's maxed out, right? I think so. <laughs> uh... This is, like, kind of the level where it's like, if your guys aren't maxed out, this is pretty much the last time you can do that. The last level in this game is actually, like, a reasonable challenge, too. Yeah. You definitely need to have strategy. Because, like, it, everybody's an upgraded unit, everybody's basically a boss. I think everybody is a boss. Like, even the common enemies have the boss music playing, at least, when we yeah. fight them. Is Jafar my oh, oh, he needs one more level. <laughs> Do you think he'll I get it? I should probably keep Priscilla out of the way. <laughs> We're not, like, actively trying to get people Marlenis, killed. Marlenis, he's fine. Marlenis dodges a lot, considering he used to be a tent. I used to be a tent. I'm going to send Pent up here to get this. Yeah. yeah. He's fine. That's one of the gimmicks on this level. Uh, it's like, oh, you passed this invisible barrier? Guess uh, who's... I think it's all your guys. Heath uh, and Priscilla can get some support. Uh, you took nine guys, by the way. Heath, Dart, Dart Oswin, Isadora, Lowen, Ellawood, Sarah, Lynn, and Vina. Oh, oops. So, well, well... I don't know why, but I thought Heath was your guy. Nope. I got Wrath, you got Heath and Isadora. Alright. Hopefully that's not like a huge deal the video, for you. The videos will tell us. We'll be, be like, man, pretty. Oh, great. What, uh, who was Link going to bring? Wrath? <laughs> I mean, he's yeah. no better. He's no better. Ah, uh, sweet. One hit kill. Vader. 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 It is not bad. Yeah, and she might die though. Um, from what? Magic. From what? <laughs> oh, that guy's even far. I mean, doesn't the dude by the temple have it? Nope. He's fortified. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, Pent could use like one or two backup buddies. His door doesn't really count, so she'll come to it. You're only sending Veda up there. <laughs> Yeah, there are only two guys who can reach her. <laughs> You're trying to make me doubt myself. <laughs> well, it won't work, dog on it. Does he have a bow? Oh, nope, just a silver axe. Just a silver axe, we're fine. 
mean, Lowen might be screwed, but you know. Uh, not if Dart has anything to say about it. Oh no, Vader got hit. <laughs> Whatever will we do? We might need Vader actually to help take down the boss. Vader, if Vader attacks the boss, she's definitely going to die. Whoa, Dart is insane. I think pretty much everybody except for Jafar and maybe Hector is like barely going to be able to damage the boss. I bet Dart will deal a ton of damage. Mm. He just dealt like 45 damage to I a had a max warrior. level. Okay, the first time I played this game, I had like an almost max level Hawkeye who could barely damage the boss and died. Okay, well, first off, Dart is better than Hawkeye. Yeah, he is. Second of all, but... I remember there was a time I did not have Kanas on this level, and uh, I had a high-level Bart Ray, and he made qu quick work of <laughs> the boss. Nice, Lin! Nice, Lin! Two crits in a row. For considering he has a horse, he's still kind of slow. <laughs> well, he had to move through forests, that's oh, part of the still. reason. His adora had to move through forests, she went farther. True. Hey, loser, take that. Seems like one more kill. I might have taken out the, uh. uh Paladin? Oh, yeah. Made us on a forest, she'll be good. Flying above the forest. Rolling around at the speed of Oh yeah, no matter troopers. Those are unusual enemies. Yeah. Man, 30 levels and low end. Now granted, we only played like 20 of them, but low end still didn't get a hair. I know. Not that that's even possible to do, but... That's like playing Donkey Kong 64 and being like, Man, 8 worlds and Mikey Kong still hasn't repaired his overalls with the patch on. I mean, but that's also true. DK64, that is a game that just did not age well. I still enjoy it, but... It's not a bad game, but it's one of those <laughs> games where you're like... Mm -hmm. Shameless plug, if you want to see Donkey Kong 64 absolutely destroyed, check out my videos in the annotations, which I don't even use. Check out these videos in the annotations below. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Rate, like, subscribe, comment, and like. Oh yeah, I saw that in earlier series. That... Yep. Pencil max. He, oh, uh, he won't be able to do much damage though. No, like magic, except for Luna, does not damage Limb Stella like at uh, all. Luna's she's got like a thirty resistance, and because it's uh, and because it pierces magic. resistance. Oh, that's true. I guess oh, also Eclipse if you can hit her with it, which damages Dude, half her HP. Barely works. It barely Jafar works. Jafar is max. First character to max level. Yeah, he also started as a level thirteen and has <laughs> amazing growth rates. Still. Jafar, you're not doing as many criticals as you should. He has like a silver sword right now. I thought he had a killing edge. Nope. I love how they're all going after Jafar, not Veda, who's damaged. There we go. Veda's a little more intimidating. Is she? She has a dragon. <laughs> Jafar has a shoulder okay, tattoo. Okay, <laughs> so if you saw Jafar or Veda, who's on a dragon, and you had, and they had to be like, go try to kill one of them, you would pick... Oh, well, there goes Priscilla. Told you another person was oh. going to die. Everybody loves Brit Raymond. Bro. I did love Raymond. Oh, I'm sorry, Raven. It's a shame that he died, along with Kent. Yeah, RIP, they're together now. Actually, I'm not sure if Priscilla's one of those characters that actually dies or just, like, gets removed from, from the story. Because I feel like every male character, if they die, except for Nils... And I guess Marcus, uh, like, like, oh yeah, they did. Yeah. Uh, I'll let Vader take that guy out. Mm, you're very gentlemanly, Jafar. Also, I can't remember if like flying units get the bonuses for being on like forests or peaks. Uh, I th I think they do, but I oh, don't light, know brand. It's a light brand. Hence, in a good place for that then. We go together. Exactly like that. Okay, we get it. Link likes Greece. 
Whoa! The I wouldn't, wants, I wouldn't say I the like... The monster is terrible! I wouldn't say I like Grease, I would just say I know... That, that's one of those musicals... Lots of the songs from Grease. Yeah. Grease is one of those, like, one of the movies like, the worst morals ever! It's like one of those where it's like, oh, this was considered a classic, I don't know, I don't really know why. <laughs> okay, well that's like a one you So we need him to do that on the boss. The very final boss, who has 128 HP. Oh, the very final boss is easy. Yeah. You get a unit conveniently designed just to destroy it. Even if you just have Elowood for some reason. Elowood, you has to be a good level in order to You have to, to be it. strategic, but uh... Yeah, that's the hilarious thing. So you get all these amazing weapons on the last level, and it's like, a lot of times, like, you guys are so bad still that, like, they're not great. Yeah. Lance Riva. He's just like, are you guys gonna use me for anything? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she had a bow. She had an iron bow, so yeah. Lynn's just getting level ups like crazy. Wow, that was a pretty good level up, Lynn. I'm impressed. The Lords get pretty good oh, level Oh, Killer ups. Ballistas. He's fine. I'm surprised he didn't go after Veda. I think Veda was out of range. Really? It has, like, not much range, though. Nope. Well, he would have to move the Ballista in order to, to reach her, so... Yeah. Go underneath. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. Say. Actually, the Axe Reaver probably would have been good because that other dude. Yeah, it's cool. I think. Oh, that guy might actually have a bow. I didn't check. That was probably one of the worst level ups you could get to Vader. Ah, oh, sweet. He does have a bow, but she's still out of range. Thanks. Oh, his word is coming! And there's our obscure Arthur reference for the episode. We should really do, like, one of the Arthur games. If I could get Arthur's reading race to work on my computer... Oh! She's in Fire Emblem 6. She's like a half man. Is she like a baby in Fire... Oh, no, wait. Fire Emblem 6 takes place after this. Yeah. I want to say she's like a half man hmm. So she's actually probably like a thousand years old now. Very easily. You never meet like a new man So It's always like, I'm 400, I'm young. <laughs> right. She's gone. What, what I think one of the Fire Emblem games you meet like a super old man who's like... A hundred thousand years old. Like later. decaying. Yeah. She's like, hey, hey, I remember. It's basically, it's yeah. basically the man keyed version of like the dude in Ocarina of Time who like lives by Lake Hylia and doesn't have a jaw anymore. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, the Isn't that guy like actually somehow creepier in the three DS version? Um There were a lot of things that were somehow creepier in the three DS version. Right, well, okay, so Ocarina of Time, arguably like in my opinion, probably greatest game of all time. Yeah. Um The there are some things that just because of the N64 graphics are pretty bad. Like, graph you know, graphically. Yeah. The 3DS one, I'm not a fan of the art style. Like, they should have... I would have been fine with them, like, sort of changing the art style. And they really didn't. I know, like, the weird, uh, Roz monster from the bottom of the well, Dead Hand, like, looks really creepy in the 3DS version, where it's, like, half gelatin. Yeah. Which is... Maybe it's just, like, that was their original, like, idea know, vision for it. But it's now like George Lucas, right, it was my original vision, and you know, Jabba was always gonna have a cool musical number in his pals. I don't know why he sounds like Kermit the Frog, but <laughs> that was a great job, George Lucas impersonation. Yeah, it was part of my original vision, everybody. <laughs> yeah, what if I? Hey, ho, Kermit the Frog! What if Anakin was like a weird little baby in Episode One, and he you know runs a pod race? <laughs> oh, what if he built C three PO? That'd be cool, right? <laughs> and it's really all about the Gungans. <laughs> I wanted to put them in all the other ones, but everybody told me no. But now I'm George, I'm George Lucas, I can do whatever I want. Anyways, maybe yep. it was part of their original vision? <laughs> maybe! I just know it's like the water temple's a lot easier in the 3DS version. Because there's like arrows. There's arrows, there's arrows right? pointing to you to where the water level changers are. And like that really hard puzzle where it's like the block rises up and you have to like think to move down below it. It like literally it's like the camera spooks like shows you that there's like the a hole in the floor. Rises. What's that from? Bane. Oh, Bane. I should see that sometime. You should see the Lego Batman. I I would definitely want that to see that. That just came out on DVD and Blu-ray. Oh. Well, I will keep that in mind. Oh, so it's just getting here's, left here's the problem. You can't just really start with the Dark Knight Rises. Well, I don't. I don't have any interest in seeing just Dark Knight. Batman, and I know this is an unpopular opinion. I thought Batman Begins was actually pretty terrible. 
Like everybody gives. Is that an unpopular opinion? Yeah. Uh, Vader needs to. Everybody. Get out so of everybody there. loves Dark Knight. Everybody kind of hates on Dark, Dark Knight Rises. Really? Because there's some like really big like if you think about it, you're like, well, that's kind of stupid. <laughs> but well, that's a lot of movies, to be perfectly honest. Like so, like Commissioner Gordon orders every single the police officer in like the entire Gotham City into the sewers for this like one thing, <laughs> and it's like they all get trapped in the sewers. It's like there's no police force. <laughs> no beta free rule over the city. <laughs> There's like a whole bunch of stuff like that where it's like, well, oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe that was part of their original vision. <laughs> Maybe that was part of my original vision. <laughs> oh, remember so this so guy? Easy. He was on that one side quest. Was he? Yeah. He's on uh, Prisoner of Magic. He's got a pretty cool haircut. He's also easily one of, if not the worst unit in the game. Is he? I don't think he's that bad. Like, any, phys any physical attacks will destroy him. And look, he has terrible magic! <laughs> well, he's going against the guy with his own affinity. I guess that's true. Alright. Yeah. Elwood's horse is just not quite fast enough. Shocker. <laughs> of course, but now you all probably figured out that not in any was the key. Have I lost like five or six <laughs> units at this point? Uh, let's see. So you've lost Kent, Marcus, Raven. I lost Marcus? You lost Marcus, yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be on the course then? That's true. Nice, Moen. Yeah, so I've lost like six or seven then, basically. Yeah, because you also lost Matthew, Kanas, Nils. Basically, at this point, I'm like, it's a bloodbath. I don't care. <laughs> so I'll send them all to their death. Not Hector, though. Well, yeah, well, then we have to restart the level, which would be torture. Yeah. I can't believe we have not had to restart a level yet. I'm not surprised. The lords are actually, like, you're kind of, if you've played the game as much as we have, you have to be, like, pretty stupid to actually, like, kill the lords. Lynn's, now they're Lynn is pretty squishy. I'm not putting the wards near Lynn, Stella. I don't think Lynn could physically damage. Uh, where are we moving Veda? Oh, uh, Veda can pull back towards Oswin. Yeah. She's low on the HP. <laughs> that warrior's just like, you're not gonna attack me? Okay, okay. That's an interesting choice. I mean, I guess, yeah, whatever. I gotta attack Lim's. I mean, uh, Isadora is the oh, hey. Yeah, but she's also sitting on a fortress. Oh, and Lin has a bow, but I doubt she can reach. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, there we go, Hawkeye. Hawkeye takes a lot of damage, though, because he's not wearing pants. He's not wearing, like, anything but a loincloth. And, oh, I'm sorry, and a necklace. <laughs> I was gonna say. He's got he's got good fashion. He's also like unbelievable. I'm gonna rich. take a chance. Nice Jaffa. I guess he did my have most a, trusted. I guess he assassin. did have a killing edge that whole time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm like I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this level's going by really fast though. I'm quite surprised. We're kind of mainlining it. Yeah. Nice Rebecca. I should have finished him. Out. Right. Well then you shouldn't have used the short bow. <laughs> like I said, I'm mainlining it. I'm not checking, like, how much damage stuff does. That's why all my guys are done. Moen is amazing. I forgot how good he was. Dun -dun. There we go, Dart. He had to throw two different axes, but he hit his target eventually. Beep, beep. <laughs> I'm not using a recover beep, to beep. get his 1 HP back. Sorry, Heck. Keith's just starting a punk rock band in his spare time. Why? He's got the hair for it. And he's got the hair for anime, too. Every Fire Emblem character has the hair for anime. Except for Wallace. <laughs> wow. I feel like my commentary is not on point today. I'm kind of tired. Oh, sorry about that. No, it's okay. I feel like my Don't apologize to me. Apologize to your viewers. Viewers, <laughs> I'm sorry that Link's commentary is so sucky. Uh. Now, as long as more units don't appear right there at the start of the enemy's next turn, so they can immediately attack, Isadora should be fine. Ellen can always rescue her. 
Or you could get the heck out of there. <laughs> I'll hold, hold back. There's only one guy over there, and Pent can make short work of him. Don't worry. Lowen's got a silver lance. He's alright. He didn't kill a guy and he had a silver lance? What the heck, Lowen? <laughs> Bowen's, Bowen's not super strong. He's just good. <laughs> we can't just we took can... an arrow to the knee. More like an arrow to the chest. Well, it's a good thing Moen held back. I was gonna say, Sarah does have healing abilities. <laughs> not from that. Oh, point, never mind, that's uh, Reynolds. Yeah. Sarah has the, like, the little headdress on her sprite. How silly of me. Ah, Lynn! Well, I guess Reynolds can finish him off. I guess. <laughs> I could, for me, complaining about how bad Reynolds is, he has been doing it. He's like, oh yes, he's also almost max level. <laughs> he starts as level 16, so I hope so. Full HP to Veda. That was kind of a waste. You could have just used like a man diffuse title. I didn't. I only took the recover and the warp stays. Uh, I should hold back because I know there's some ballistas up there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> meanwhile, Hawkeye got shot by one last turn. I was gonna say. Meanwhile, Hawkeye is like has an arrow sticking out of him. Like, so like I'm gonna go heal like the dragon. <laughs> the dragon had like less than half HP. It's a dragon. Yeah, very, very weak against magic and arrows, which are the Moln range things. <laughs> Alright, Lowen. <laughs> eh, axe. He's not gonna kill them with the Silver Lance anyways, so... And this way, this leaves Hector a nice opening. Lowen's only a level 8 paladin, and he's kicking that much blood. That's awesome. I have a feeling he may not last, though. Or is that just wishful thinking on your part? No. Whoa! Nice, Rebecca. See, that's why Rebecca is great. I, I, I don't doubt Rebecca's greatness anymore. Get too far over here. Eleven-year-old Artie, on the other hand, would be <laughs> Rebecca. No, she's good. No, more like oh, Rebecca rules better. <laughs> oh yeah, Oswin. Uh, Lance, please. They may have swords. You idiot! We all have some. They could also try to attack uh, Sarah, but pretty she's... sure Hawkeye's gonna take another arrow. Well, sure, or Rebecca. <laughs> really, Pent, you couldn't have just put a little more focus into your magic. Also, it's kind of interesting that like enemy ballistas literally never move. Like even on hard mode. Maybe on hard mode. I've never seen enemies move ballistas. Oswin's like, oh boy. <laughs> I'll take out this ballista so uh, I can get. Oh, well, thank you very much. The girls over here. And El. <laughs> You're going. Hell and Brent Alter girls, let's be honest. <laughs> Reynolds actually has a decent, like, prominence to the story if you look at the supports and, like, the extra stuff in the game. He's like, I am actually Elwood's uncle. And no. And I. I if you want, I can say what. Uh, spoilers for Pete Reynolds' backstory, everybody. Yeah, so, uh, Kishuna is actually Reynolds' best friend. Okay. And, like, he's like, like. Even uh, though Kishuna's, like, a hundred billion. Kishuna years died, old. basically, in battle. He's like, no, like, I can't let that happen. Like, and he's like, Nurgle, like, you could, like, have, like, the power to bring people back to life, but like, do it. He's like, okay. And, like, does it. And, kind of, like, Kishuna comes back as a morph and, like, really weird. So, like, Reynolds' like, what the heck, Nurgle? Like, what the point? We gotta put him to hell. Yeah, basically just like hunt out on Nurgle's island, like plotting revenge. He just was like hanging out in like an abandoned temple for like who knows how long. Of years. Okay, now I want to see. Mm, no. What is the average like life expectancy in the Fire Emblem world? And I'm not uh, talking if like you're, if you're encoding manichaeans in that, then probably it averages out to like two hundred. No, I'm years. talking of like a human. <laughs> okay, of a human. Like, do humans just live like considering years old? considering how like many wars there are frequently nice okay, awesome. I'm talking like natural like is it like bible times where it's like and Athos is 947 years old and Hezron begot Perez exactly so or, or is it like oh yeah like they're like 80 and then they kick the bucket uh I'm inclined to say the latter then explain how Athos is 947 Athos may uh he spent, like, 900 years in the Maniki village. Maybe there's some magical powers there or something. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of his original vision. <laughs> exactly. 
That's our, new, gonna go, be, that's it, our new go-to it's answer. Gonna, it's going to be like Fire Emblem, like, uh, Chapter 30, which is all part of George Lucas's <laughs> original vision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have our time. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you having only 15 health left was part of your <laughs> Oh, um, hi there. I hate how reinforcements don't need... I, I am convinced, and I, I don't get me wrong, I love Star Wars. Like, I, I, growing up, was a huge Star Wars fan. I'm super excited for Episode Eight. Nice, Isadora! <laughs> like, I, big Star Wars fan. Oh, absolutely. I, I think George Lucas got lucky. Yeah, I would agree. Because all of his... He, he's made some of, like, what I would consider the worst movies I've ever seen. <laughs> and then he made the Star Wars movies. Um, <laughs> but but Link, that was all part of his original vision. Yeah, yeah, actually, I intended to have bad movies so that Star Wars would be better. <laughs> By comparison. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I think he got lucky. I think Star Wars is a cool concept. I mean, Star Wars, if you think about it, is kind of cliche. And oh, also, definitely. And also kind of simple. And also got ripped off a lot. <laughs> oh, absolutely. But here's the thing. Like, he didn't write all of the original trilogy. That's true. Which is why those are good. He came up with the idea, and I give him credit for that. But I think that was like his one good idea that like took off, and granted, it really took off. But I think he's not a really good director or creator. And I'm glad. I think Disney's actually doing a better job with Star Wars than he has in recent years. Rogue One was really good. Uh, episode seven was really good, but also Episode seven was basically Episode four again. Okay, but wouldn't you take Episode four again over like Episode two? <laughs> Yeah, probably. I would. Episode two was pretty bad. Like yeah. the Obi Wan parts are cool, but the Anakin yeah, that's and a, that's George really Lucas good. script for you. Yeah. Uh, Hawkeye can take that guy out. Yep. Cool. No, Dart needs to go up and kill himself. Don't do that. But these guys are threatening Sarah right now, so Sarah's fine. She is fine for this turn, but if they keep coming, and I mean that in like the. Um, like Sarah is going to live, not like mm, Sarah. You, you are fine. fine. <laughs> well, I mean, let, in case there was any confusion, <laughs> I I was definitely not thinking that until you brought it up. Hawkeye's getting revenge on the guy who shot him in the knee twice. <laughs> no, he only got him once. He hit Jafar in the head the other time. Oh, Jafar took a, like a ballista bullet into the head, and it's just like. Fun. He's like Sephiroth at the end of the Kingdom Hearts 2 fight. <laughs> I admit you're very skilled. <laughs> nice, Rebecca! Hector's going up to the Great White North. What? <laughs> Canada. Oh. We are America. That's true, and uh, Canada is part of North America. Yep. I mean, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're part of North America, but not the US of A. <laughs> That's like the first time Sarah's taken damage in a very long time. Yeah. She dodges so much. You died. You died so much. <laughs> wow. What percentage of your viewers do you think have seen The Office? And I mean the American <laughs> Office, not the British Office. I don't know. Which a lot of people would argue is better than the American Office. I disagree with you. I tried to watch the first episode. I'm like, hey, this is exactly like The Office America one. Which I know, like, the, the first American, episode. The was... American version, it was intentionally like that. Yeah. And also, I'm just like, I don't really like any of these characters. It's like a cruder version of the American office. And more cringy. Yeah, like, the humor is more awkward and tension. And see, I already am like, uh, it's hard to, it's kind of hard to watch The Office sometimes when Michael Scott's being, like, super awkward. Which is, like, 90% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so, like, compare episodes where he's just, like, unintentionally making like a fool out of himself versus like Scott's Tots which is like probably the, one of the most awkward things to watch ever <laughs> Scott's Tots is a great episode <laughs> what's he gonna do make our dreams come true there was I love how Rebecca is still wearing so like I a saw, life jacket I saw a um, story recently like a news article where it was like yeah some guy like where it's like some guy like could have either bought like this rich guy either could have bought a yacht but instead he like paid for all these preschoolers college tuitions I was like this is Scott's tots in real life but it actually worked <laughs> well I don't know I, I, they're preschoolers so we don't know oh well okay that man Michael Scott unless they all fail to graduate high school which is statistically highly unlikely <laughs> yeah then he should be fine I love how Reynolds just nearby so he can fortify when they're low on HP. Yep. It's really nice. 
Nice! Well, he's gotten like three or four level ups. Yeah. And <laughs> that was a great level up win. Very excellent. Oh, oh! That horde needs to be better at dodging. For those of you who don't know, Fortify basically heals all units within like a certain radius. And it gives it's a really lot good. of experience. I wish you could see how... Oh, Pent and... Okay. One hit kill. Ah, Veda! So close. Okay, I just realized. In the Audio. office, is Michael Scott's last name Scott? Or is his first it's name? It's Mr. Scott. So, yeah. Okay, because I'm <laughs> pretty sure in the British office, the guy's name is, is David Brent. And, like, I, uh, I think that I'm not going to do it. I'm just, like... So, Pent, at least... Pent can whittle her HP Pent down. Won't die. And he won't die, and we could just have Sarah healing it, at worst case. Can nobody reach that spot? Yeah. Well, Rimstella's right now the last unit, so... Okay, well, we're good then. I wouldn't attack, just in case reinforcements, but alright. Pent dodged anyways. <laughs> Fine. There's also another secret shop on this level. Yeah, you didn't take weak ult, so... Well, that's because it just can carries all the upgrading items, plus the Ocean Seal and the Fell Contract. Should Jafar just finish this? Um... He could. Probably. It's still my turn. Okay. So... At the very least, Vader wants to explore the ruins. No one. No one whom. Watch, oh, watch this. this. And we can set to Whitney. We can sell it, worst case. <laughs> Not that that will have any... Watch this. There's white things that need it. What's this? There's Kana everywhere. Veda discovers Christmas for the first time. <laughs> In a very special episode. <laughs> the Fire, Fire Emblem Am Christmas special. Veda, Christmas, what's that? What's the, okay, what is this? <laughs> this actually has a decent chance of going up around Christmas. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, let's talk about this. What are the best and worst Christmas specials of all time? Best ones... Arthur's Perfect Christmas, Christmas Eve on Sesame Street, Charlie Brown Christmas. Very unpopular choices for, for the first of those. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas, absolutely hands down great. Which is um, weird because this is the really weird Christmas special if you think about it. Oh yeah, it really is. Like It's basically just like they move from one thing to the other. But it's it's a classic. I am not a fan of the Rudolphs. I haven't those. seen the Rudolphs. I've seen the Frosty the Snowman animated one. Frosty the Snowman's okay. Oh, Jafar! I mean... I would not do that. No, you no, could no. hope for the super critical. I'll just keep pet there, though. Um, okay, yeah. He'll also have another hit. Don't yeah, attack, though. I'm fine. I'm fine. Peter Parker. Oh, exactly. No, okay, uh, the worst ones, the Garfield Christmas special. <laughs> what? Uh, the Garfield Christmas special? The old Garfield show. Garfield and Friends had a Christmas special. It's basically just like, hey, kids, Christmas is when you get things. <laughs> That's the true meaning of Christmas. <laughs> also, Which, I mean, like, what do you expect from Garfield? Also, if... Underrated Christmas special, but also like nowhere near as good as the other three I mentioned. VeggieTales Toy That Saved Christmas. Yeah, that's a good one. Christmas is when you speak of Christmas stuff. is when you get stuff. <laughs> that's literally a line from it, but it's that's not like what it's actually preaching. Um Shall I end? No. <laughs> I wanna move my guys closer. Oh you can uh heal, Plus Elwood at the very least heal needs me to with, seize the throne. You can heal me with uh Sarah as well. Yep. Um, other bad ones. Christmas comes to Pac-Land from the original Pac-Man <laughs> show. <laughs> it's you remember really really a lot of obscure ones. <laughs> um, Grandma got run over by a reindeer. The movie. <laughs> oh, you've been drinking too much eggnog. <laughs> Which is based off of the song. It's like, let's take. A it was three, a unique idea. It's like let's take a three-minute comedy song and turn it into like an hour and a half Christmas movie on Cartoon that, Network. Like, no, that, it's like a real Christmas movie. It's just Cartoon Network shows it all the time because it's probably like two dollars to show it. Along with a Christmas story. Oh, I. It's a very unpopular opinion. People are probably going to leave comments. A Christmas story is great. What the heck? Fire that link guy. But, uh, Christmas story is bad. <laughs> Christmas story. Jingle Christmas all the story. Way. Oh, Jingle All the Way is, Jingle all the way is a the best. horrible movie. Jingle All the Way very is like the best, like, worst, movie. worst Christmas movie. It's kind of just the best, worst movie ever. <laughs> but yeah, it's Christmassy. Hawkeye, you want to move out of the way to kill some guys? I'm trying to think of other bad ones. I'm also not a fan of... because. Well, oh, okay. Home first... Alone was bad. I'm just going to oh, say it. Oh, man. We're going to get so much hate. <laughs> this is just us, like... like 
Cooper in everybody's like favorite movies at this point. Home Alone was bad. I have never honest. met another human being who did not like Home Alone. <laughs> like we are the only people who did not like Home Alone. It, it's a pretty. It made movie. four sequels. One of them has Donald Trump. Four sequels? I thought there were only two. <laughs> no, there's at least there's at least Home Alone four. I think there's a <laughs> there's at least Home Alone four. <laughs> I you killing um, me. The Santa Claus is okay. The Santa Claus two and three. <laughs> it had the great meme where he slowly turns into Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> quickly turns into That's, Santa Claus. Uh, you brought that up in a previous episode. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was the Katamari <laughs> video. What was the context? <laughs> I don't remember if, or I'm like something like I feel old like when Tim Allen quickly turns this. <laughs> no, because you're like I was looking at Facebook because like, I figured you were on your phone when it was my turn. Oh. You're like, what the heck? I just saw like, a Facebook meme of like t Tim Allen turning into Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, if you want to move Hawkeye out of the way yep, and Dark can attack. Okay. Yep. Or a different axe. Oh, yeah, that's fine. There's some pretty bad Christmas movies. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Killer Axe. 58% chance. And he will die if she hits yeah, I know, so I'll just wait. Okay. Meanwhile... Maybe my folder where I got destroyed was on hard mode. I don't know, I think it was you the first You played Outward Story hard mode? Yeah. Oh. I think bad. this is the... I think it was the first time I played the game, so maybe my guys were just bad. I don't know. It's possible. She's not as hard as I remember. Nice. All right. I am not human. Deep. Woo! Nice dark! Oh, speaking of not human and bad Christmas movies, there's also like three <laughs> other Frosty the Snowman oh, oh, movies. Oh, 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 oh. I have not seen it, but I'm pretty sure the Star Wars Christmas special counts as one of the worst. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Star Wars Christmas special. Wait, what? There are two guys back there? Okay. Good thing I moved Heath or he'd be dead. Let's just seize the gate, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Seize! That's not the victory music. That was a heated battle. Well, Come on, Hector. I was right. We lost. I lost two more guys. One more guy. We lost Nils. Uh, and Priscilla. <laughs> oh yeah. You I already think... forgot. Yep. She was. She's the person who gets snubbed at the Academy Awards each year, then they die. <laughs> Which I think we also have talked about in previous. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think yeah, that was Raven. Yep. Or no, Carl. Carl is the guy who gets <laughs> oh, snubbed yeah. at the Academy. I lost like eight guys. <laughs> <laughs> or Corel, however you pronounce it. Oh, we got some great cinematics here. Nils and Minion in dragon form. It's a Cepheid picture. It was so the you voice. Tell it's old. It was the voice of an old friend. Are yeah. dragons and Mankeets different? Yeah. Mankeets are like dragon human hybrids that can like morph between. So it's basically them. like if Lurgo was like married to dragon, then his kids would be Mankeets. Um, spoiler alert, right. Nurgle did marry a dragon. Right, and... I know. <laughs> There's all sorts of stuff that is definitely illegal in America going on in this game. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, here's the thing. So Nini... a dragon should be able to just, like, wipe the floor I with still them. don't really know if Nils and Ninian's, like, default form is dragon, or their default form is human. Because there's conflicting evidence for both. Pretty sure their default form is dragon. Okay. That, whereas other mana keats were, that you get on your team, their default form is human, and they need the dragon stone to actually right. turn. It's like a Rito's... <laughs> Let me like... tell you some stories about America. <laughs> oh, Ron Swanson, where did you come from? <laughs> I'd like to tell you the story of George Washington crossing the Delaware. <laughs> They're like, this is so exciting. Yeah, so they have to get the stone to turn into it. Kind of like Rito's uh, with like the, the scale, yeah. yeah. Okay, is for that, like, is it like every time the Rito's get a scale, is that like a scale from the loo? So eventually he's just going to run out of scale. <laughs> he probably be gross, though. Oh yeah, in Breath of the Wild, I've been playing that recently. Amazing game. Uh, I met F like a monster who looks a lot like Volu, and I'm like, is that like an NPC or like a monster? I like took his picture. It's like this is like the toughest enemy ever. Like, don't go near it. I'm like, okay, I won't. <laughs> nice. I wish I could play more Breath of the Wild. I just have been so busy. I'm also starting to realize, I'm like, yeah, it would be kind of nice to have the Switch <laughs> version that doesn't lag quite as much. I think the Switch version also lags a little bit, though. Really? I feel like Nintendo is very Switch, good at the Switch is lag. not The Switch is not that much more powerful than the Wii U. I believe it. <laughs> so. Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode of Murica, I mean Fire Rumble. Thanks for watching, I'm Color Farty. I'm like the Hero 64. And if you tune in next, it's the last episode. Title Final chapter, Light. Light.
light uh, so bright. bright. <laughs> Bye. Have a great day and God bless. Yep. <laughs>